Hey everyone, and welcome back for another five minute tech talk. I'm Luke Woodward, a senior developer on the Nexus Managed Apps Products team. And today we are going to be continuing our exploration of the Git version control system using GitHub and our Nexus Managed WordPress platform. Uh, this is part two. So if you haven't seen part one, you may wanna pause this video and go back and watch that first lesson. Uh, let's get going. Last time uh, we created a new repository, that's this one here that you see in GitHub. We updated the git ignore file uh, and made sure we were only going to be controlling uh, the files that we were interested in and weren't managed by other people. Uh, we initialized our new local repository on the WordPress server. We connected it over here to this GitHub repository and we created our very first commit and pushed it over here to GitHub. And that's why we get this WP content folder here. Uh, so Today, we're going to be picking up where we left off, and we're going to be looking at adding and removing files from your repository. Uh, so to do that, uh, I'm going to add a couple of plugins, and we're going to start. I've already logged into the server over here, uh, and I'm going to install a couple of plugins on this, uh, on this site. So we're going to do WP plugin install, and let's pull in the classic editor plugin. Uh, and that'll take just a moment to install it. Uh, and then just for good measure, let's install a second one. So WP plugin install, and let's do the duplicate page plugin as well. Uh, once we've done that, both of these plugins are here, but Git doesn't know about our plugins just yet. So if we run Git status, we can see we actually have two uh, folders here that have untracked files in them, our classic editor and the duplicate page plugin that we had uh, asked for. Uh, so if we want to make Git know about these, we're gonna need to commit them and then we'll need to push them to the remote. So let's do that. We'll do git add, and then I'm just gonna use the dot here, which says remove or uh, add everything to the stage uh, from this, directory that I'm in all the way down. So we're going to catch everything. Uh, once I've done that, I'll go ahead and add a new commit and give it a message of add classic editor and duplicate page, just like that. And we will make our commit. Uh, now, finally, uh, GitHub doesn't have these changes yet. They are only here in our local version of this repository. So we wanna push these back to GitHub so it knows about them as well. Uh, to do that, we'll do a git push. And we'll enter our username and password. And that's going to push those back over to uh, our repository. If we now refresh these, uh, and we come over here into our plugins, uh, we are going to see that we indeed have the classic editor and we have our duplicate page plugin. So both of these have now been added to Git and we are keeping track of those source files. Uh, now, what happens if we decide later on, hey, let's actually remove uh, one of these plugins. Uh, so to do, to do that, we're gonna do WP plugin uninstall here. And uh, let's remove duplicate page. Now, if we run our git status command again, we can see that git recognizes that these files have now been removed uh, and are no longer present in our local version of this code. Uh, now, to push those changes back to GitHub, we need to go ahead and make a new commit. So we're gonna say git add uh, and we'll ask for everything. And that is going to basically say, hey, all of these removals, add those to our stage. Now we're gonna commit our stage. And give the message of remove duplicate page plugin uh, to make sure we know what exactly we did in this commit. Uh, we're going to git push one more time. And then once again, if we come over here and refresh, uh, we are going to see that in fact, we have removed our duplicate page plugin uh, from our list of plugins here in our WP content folder. 
So let's quickly review. Uh, we added two new plugins to our repository. Uh, we committed those to Git and we made sure that we saw those in our repository on GitHub. Uh, then we decided that we didn't actually want one of them. So we went ahead and removed it. Uh, and then we committed those changes to actually pull those files out of Git. So we were no longer tracking them. Uh, and then again, once uh, we did that, we made a new commit to GitHub so that GitHub once again knew what the current state of our code was. Uh, so you're really starting now to use Git to keep track of your code. And remember, uh, always, if you have any more questions or are just interested in learning more about any of our products and services, you can always find us online at nexus.net. Thanks for watching.